Yeah. Tank Lit. 2014. We on a promo blog. We're going to call this a prayer blog. You know, I've been talking to God. And I've been struggling with my vices, you know, th through this battle of mine that, you know, uh, of my life and the struggles and the hell type situations I've been through, you know, I'm trying to escape through that, that maze, that turbulent, shaky maze, you know, and it's like sometimes like just to get out of the evilness and, and the bad and, and that, that point of where you're stuck and frozen, sometimes you even pick up more bad things and maybe there is even some goodness to that. Like, where that can also be like beating yourself while you're down, or slapping the face while you're down, or salt in the wound type thing, you know, on, on top of bad, more bad. Maybe it could also be the antidote. Like, sometimes to fight bad, you need to just, like, become immune to it by, by doing more bad. So, you know, I picked up some things. I had quit cigarettes. Um... For eight years, I smoked cigarettes from age 16 through 25, a nine-year habit that I was heavy into the habit, like two to three packs a day, you know, at least towards the end of, of that nine-year period. And then from age 25 to age 33, I quit cold turkey. Something miraculously changed in my life, and I found the strength to quit the evil cigarettes, and from 25 to 33, eight years, quit cold turkey, all right? But then age 33, last year, I'm 34 now, I picked them up now for the last year and a half, and I'm already back into a two-pack a day habit, and there have been days where I've been even worse than two packs. And, you know, that's like, was my, out of my zombiness, my frozenness, my stuckness, I felt like I needed something to stimulate me so I could just keep moving. So, you know, cigarettes got that powerfulness. They evil, but, but they actually serve me a purpose because they so strong that it's like when I couldn't get out of the house for, for the life of me, for my, for my own good, for my own sickness, my mental sickness, my physical sickness, it was like the addiction got me out of the house. When I ran out of cigarettes, you gotta go buy some more to keep feeding the addiction. So just as a step-by-step -step thing to, to learn how to get myself out of the house, I had to pick up a vice. Like, you know, vices and virtues. I picked up a vice, something bad, but it served some good because it got me out of that severe stuckness and frozenness of, of where my illness took me. Um, but, you know, it's a balancing act because then, you know, whatever good that's doing, it was also like sometimes with medicines that got side effects. You cure one thing, you got a million side effects. Well, same thing. So the cigarettes cured that stuckness, that frozenness because they were so strong, but they now put in new toxins in my body and, and making me sick. I already have sleep apnea. And so, what kind of fucking stupid decision is that when I can't even breathe at night without wearing a sleep mask, using a sleep machine called a CPAP, and been like 15 years, you know, stuck deep in my sleep apnea illness, just that illness alone, and, you know, a man struggling to do a basic thing like sleep or a basic thing like breathe, you know, just basic functions of life to keep moving, I can't even do without like that own version of life support and now I'm putting this poison and toxin of the cigarettes in me. It's like ludicrous. It's insanity. But like I did. It is what it is for the last year and a half I've been smoking. But I basically came to the conclusion that today, you know, life is getting better. I called God up. He answered lovely and beautiful and perfectly and has handed me the situations like my music career, my personal life, things are getting better. Got this wonderful venue, Tank Lit vs. Daylight. You know, world famous battle rapper Daylight. It's going to be Tank Lit vs. Daylight in Florida 2014. They're coming from California. 
and we're going to do the quiet room battle, you know, props to the man Queens Flip Robinson for that, props to Devon Campbell for this opportunity, and so it's like I want to stay healthy, or if I'm not, if I'm unhealthy right now, get healthy so I can enjoy um, these wonderful things that are taking place as the story unfolds and things are occurring that are actually good things. Maybe I'm not stuck in hell. Maybe, like, there is a brighter day. Like, you know, these moments shall pass. And, and really, my situation could be heaven-type. Like, a heaven on earth instead of a hell on earth. Even though it's the same reality, somehow I change my reality to get to a different reality, even though it's the same life. So, so maybe heaven and hell really the same place and life is what you make of it. So I want to take this moment to just let you know today I'm taking a stand to my addiction. And it's an evil addiction. It actually is appropriate that it was my addiction in, in my hell type situation because it, it just shows yet another force of evil. Like, I know better. I've seen all the commercials and infomercials on cigarettes and what they do to you. Yet, as a smart man, I'm so stupid and I've been using them. Today, I want to let that ignorance go. I want to take that stand that the light is within me, that the strength is within me, that God gives me that strength, that I can be more powerful than that evil, powerful addiction of cigarettes. So, I can once again prove a bigger picture and not make a mockery of myself or a hypocrite of myself that I want to be this good man fighting all these evil powers, but yet I'm so stupid I can't get out of my own way. Like, what sense is that? So I want to, I want to, you know, actions speak louder than words. I want to put my money where my mouth is type shit. So we take a moment and pray because I'm going to need that God's strength and beauty today to take a stand. My last cigarette was around 10.28 a.m. this morning. We, on August 6, 2014 right now, the time is 12.31, so I'm about two hours and three minutes, no cigarettes, and I want to just ask y'all to pray with me. So we make this a prayer blog. And, you know, I've never been to church much, so you know God had to school me. So, you know, that that is what it is, but, you know, classes in session type, so we pray. God, I want to ask for your mercy on my soul and my body as I am a sick man right now, but I want you to give me strength to get healthy, okay? I want you to love me like I love you. I am so thankful for you and the life that you give me, even though it seems so hard sometimes, and I talk about it in almost a blasphemy that it's like hell, even though it really is a beautiful gift that you give me. Please have mercy on the fact that I sometimes view it as a hell type situation. Understand that inadvertently things that weren't my fault made it bad and also my own decisions rendered me in situations that were bad. So I don't point the finger at you God. I don't blame you. I want you to help me to take a stand to something that's evil because you're, you're a good man and you represent all the beautifulness and the goodness. So help me take a stand to something that is wrong, such as these cigarettes. Give me strength today for all my sins and my bad. Have mercy on my soul. Have mercy on my sick body and heal me. Give me the strength as I quit them today, that as each day goes by, I get healthier and healthier, and I don't pick up other vices or this vice again, that I could sustain this cessation of smoking cigarettes I could continue that and actually finally sustain it instead of going 17 hours and then picking them up again or one or two days and then picking them up again let's really do this this time you helped me once before please believe in a second chance for me again believe in as many chances as it takes if it's my 10th chance God, I love you and thank you for this beautiful day. I will try so hard to not disappoint you. And even better than trying, I'm just going to do. I'm not going to pick up those cigarettes because I know that one cigarette just feeds the addiction and, and the withdrawal and the cycle continues. So I will do better than just try. I'm going to do this time and make you proud. So thank you, world. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Okay? And for everything, this is a 2014 tank lip promo blog. Thank you.